Okay, so today's issue is the turn in Chung-Suk form number four. Uh, people get confused on what they're pivoting on and how to actually turn. So it, it's really quite simple. Um, so let's go over that. When I come up, you come up just as if you were going to, to draw. But from here, what you're going to do is if I'm turning to the right, I'm going to pivot on my left knee and pick up my right knee. So it'll look like this, like so. So the right knee comes up while I'm pivoting on my left knee. Boom. Okay. So from what my legs actually look like, so here, when I turn, I'm going to pivot on my left knee and pick up my right knee if I'm going to the right. So here, like so. And the right foot kind of just slides over, so my legs are in line. Like this. <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> All right. So let me turn from this direction to see. Oh, and the other, the other tip is that when you resheave in the form, don't sit all the way back down. Let there be a gap between your tush and your heel. So here, I'm going to turn to the right, so I'm going to pivot on my left knee and pick up my right knee, like so. Oops. Like so. Okay. I'm going to do one from the back, and the other thing is that left leg, or the knee that stays down, what happens a lot of times is that people will leave the foot like this or corner it, right? When I do my turn, I want my legs to be, once again, in line straight. So here, instead of this, see how my leg goes off of an angle? I want it to be here. Good. <laughs> I want it to be here. So when I turn, the left foot comes over too. Right foot slides over, left foot slides over. Now they're in line. One more time. Space between the tush. Boom. Like so. So hopefully that helps. Any other questions, feel free to email me or leave it down in the comment section. Thank you very much.